Hey guys, I'm back again. Sorry it's dark now, I had to do some sorting out. I had a couple of failed videos because my Cura was playing up with the G code and I don't know how to use the software for doing the, the uh, video editing very well so I need to get a bit of tutorials on that. So, and my mouse wasn't showing on the video that I just made so I just sorted that out, got a little bit of a little bit of a glow going on. So I always make sure I'm on point two anyway, guys, because uh, that's what everyone usually makes their attempt towers and retraction towers on. So we're uh, first things first, marketplace, and it loaded pretty fast. So it'll come up like this. It won't have ticks in all the places. That mine does, but mine doesn't have a lot of ticks at the minute because Cure actually crashed the other day. But no my of it, we'll sort it. Calibration shapes and install here. Once it's said installed and you pressed agree down here, it'll say quick cure. Quick cure, load it back up straight away. Yeah? Okay. So now your cure is loaded back up, you've got a nice little cube, extensions, uh, first things first to use the, cal uh, the calibration cubes and the G code in cure, you need to uh, go down to copy scripts, once you press copy scripts then uh, restart cure again and then uh, all your scripts will be mo in the modified G code yeah so we uh, jump in add attempt tower, we'll do attempt tower, this is uh, attempt tower from 220 up to 180 so let's slice it so we can have a look at it yeah, straight in preview, happy days, so we're going to need two different things for this we need the first two lines that it starts out of here, which should be 42 and uh, 83, 84, and this little piece here, which is going to be 3. So, okay, sorry, 4, yeah, 4. So, I've got a little button down here. That shouldn't have been down there. Let's take that off. Ignore that. It wouldn't have been there in, on yours. This is, it's because I've had Cura open. So, back into extensions. Post processing. Modify G code. And you've got add scripts. Add scripts. If you didn't copy your scripts right, then you won't have half of these. You won't have a retraction tower, retraction continue, speed tower. And what we're using today is temp fan tower. You've also got your time lapse here, which I'll do a video on at some point. So start temperature 220, which I want. Increments negative 5, which is correct. It's going up to 180. So my layer change always says 52, but mine's always 42. And my change layer offset I want at 3. Uh, do not activate fan tower. Don't know what it does. I just don't think it'll work right. So let's slice. And that's 55 minutes. Uh, I'm not sure what speed I'm at here, but this is all just a bit of a mess of settings because with Cura crashing, none of my profile was saved, and yeah, I need to do it all again. I've got uh, I've got accelerate on and everything, and I don't usually have that. So yeah, there we are, guys. That is how to. Uh, do your own 
temp tower you can do it anywhere you want you can start at 210 if you want I wouldn't start at 220 personally I'd probably start at 205 and just go up to uh, 180 so 205 200 195 90 and uh, 185 I probably wouldn't go anywhere less than that so I'd just probably cut the top of that off to be honest guys but yeah save it in send it to your computer make sure that your initial te printing temperature make sure you're at 0.2 mil initial printing temperature always start at your first start so if you're starting at 220 have that 220 if you're starting at 190 have it at 190 uh, I just found that sometimes I had a little issue that it'd print it's like my usual temperatures at 190 because I use PLA plus a lot but um, yeah it, it, sometimes it just went to my print printing temperature off this at 190 and then started messing around with my G code so just just to make sure you match that to your first one down here guys but yeah cheers